you know, as entrepreneurs, solopreneurs, serial entrepreneurs, we face so many challenges. Uh, we come against so many odds, come against so many no's, and, and the, the pressure is even heavier when our uh, actions impact the livelihoods of teams, right? If you don't win, there's a team that doesn't win. If you don't make no money, there's a team that doesn't make any money. People are depending on you for their livelihood. And had an amazing time in Ghana. I'm now in uh, the Canary Islands. I needed to get somewhere and download everything I learned in Ghana uh, and write. Um, and one of the things we were instructed to do in Ghana was to uh, reach out to our ancestors uh, from our mothers, grandmothers, uh, grandmothers on our father's side. And one of the things that came back from uh, my grandmother uh, on uh, my mom's side was since when has no ever stopped you? Since when has no ever stopped you? And I was like, Wow, never. Ever since I was a kid, if I was told no, I would find another way. If you told me I couldn't, I would find a way to do it. If you told me you didn't have the answer, I would find the answer on my own. No, never stopped me. And I had to sit and pause and think about why is no stopping me now? Why are closed doors stopping me now? Why are uh, opportunities that I don't get and going after contracts or going after speaking engagements, whatever it is, why is that hindering me now? And my ancestors said, do you know you come from a line of hustlers? You come from people who do what they need to do to get where they need to go. And I began to think about the actual people I watched. My aunt, Lana Felton Gee, did what she needed to do to get where she needed to go in every situation that she was in. My grandfather, Ben Senior, did what he needed to do. Turned a $25 warehouse into a million dollar business. My aunt became the Iron Lady of Philadelphia and I was there to witness it. So who am I to one, disrespect that legacy, but who am I to stop the legacy? But even you, if you don't even have a legacy to follow, who are you not to start the legacy? There's so many things ahead of us that if we let a no, if we let a closed door, if we let an opportunity we wanted but didn't get stop us, we will regret it in the end. And I would rather live a life of, I tried. <laughs> I would rather live a life of, you know what? I did my best. I would rather live a life of, I went after it versus a life of regret. Don't let that no stop you. Don't let them people stop you. Don't let that missed or closed opportunity stop you. Because if you submit yourself to the will of your life, if you submit yourself to your destiny, if you submit yourself to your divine purpose, there is not a man, woman, or human being. There is not an opportunity, a closed door. There is nothing that can stop you from getting to where you need to go if you keep going. That's my encouragement. That's what my ancestors told me. Brother, you a hustler. You came from hustlers and don't you dare. Yeah, you might be doing something people haven't done before. Yeah, you might be doing things that you are, are building your own roadmap. You're building the parachute as, you, as you've taken the courage to jump. But nobody ever said it was going to be easy. Nobody ever said it was going to be a, a, a path laid out with gold and milk and honey. <laughs> oh, but everybody that has taken the plunge, everybody that has taken the risk, everybody that has gone after their dream, everybody that has chased it has reported back that it is worth it. It is worth it. The no's are worth it. The heartache is worth it. The disappointment is worth it. Because in the end, beloved, you win. You win because you followed your heart. You followed your dream. You followed your destiny. And you did not let anyone or anything deter you from getting to where you need to go. And so as my ancestors have spoken to me, as the spirit has spoken to me, 
as I'm here even now downloading and writing out the path forward, my encouragement to you is don't you let that no stop you. Don't you let that closed door stop you. And I know some of you are at your wit's end, but really center self. Don't let that no stop you. All right. Love you. Bye.